All right, real quick. If you have one of these widescreen Sony's and it's not coming on and this little power LED is flashing, you can look up that flash code and it's usually like six flashes. And that generally means, sorry about the static. That generally means one of these guys has failed Sorry, there it is, that MCZ301D. It's these two, there's two of them, image chips that are known to go bad. And so I bought some off eBay, threw them in there, replaced them. It still wasn't working. This time I think I had three blanks. Turns out it's this capacitor that goes bad. It's a little gnarly just because Took a lot of wrangling to get out of there, a lot of heat. But let's see, 33 microfarad, 160 volt. I put in a 330 volt, was a little too high. It gets jittery when it's starting up, but once it fires up, everything looks good. And you can see those are the image chips you want to replace. I ended up putting in these sockets. That way it's just easier if it comes time to replace them again, which I mean, who knows if I'll have this TV by then. And then there, that guy is your capacitor that was going bad. So hopefully this helps someone out. Obviously be careful in the back of a TV when it's on. I'm no safety professional, but I got it back working.